I'm going to attempt to do something that's incredibly dangerous. I'm going to attempt to do something that's almost never done on the internet. I am going to attempt to do something that might end me as I know it. That's because I don't know if this medium of communication can do this one thing. I'm going to attempt to engage with you in something called nuance. Right? The idea that it doesn't have to be this or that, that the answer isn't exactly right or wrong, that there is like a range of, of possible right answers here, and that it really, you know, something isn't as good or as bad as it has to be. Like, we are not fully polarized, right? I am going to attempt to be the counterweight to all of those weird news sites that posts on every social media, and this is basically every large, like, I would say content news site, you know, actual news sites don't know how to use social media, right? And content news sites, the way they use it is they make headlines like, Lionel Messi has died. And then you click, it, it, you have to click on the article to see what they're talking about. They're like, check link in bio for more. And then you click on the link for Lionel Messi has died. And it's like, well, Lionel Messi's dying to try this new flavor of ice cream that you can only get on Amazon Prime, which just happens to be the sponsor of today's article. And that's literally the entire article, right? It, like, there's no substance or anything. And, and one of the things that, that usually drives a lot of this is when a crazy decision happens in a sporting event, right? Some wild thing will happen, like the one that's in the thumbnail, and, and, and everybody's got to have a giant opinion on it. Like, it's got to be, oh, this is the worst call ever. The Premier League is rigged. Or they'll tweet out, but, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll try, particularly these, uh, these, these content news sites, will try to seem impartial when they're not. They'll be like, massive, controversial penalty call changes the picture of the title race. Do you think it was right? I emoji question like just giant slab of bait to just get a bunch of people to debate, which look, honestly, particularly on Twitter and definitely on Instagram as well. We're talking about comment sections that are largely the cesspit of humanity. Like if you were trying to identify the armpit of humanity, the one thing you don't want to show the aliens when they get here so that they don't read that and then instantly want to blow up the entire planet, right? That would be probably Twitter replies that right under like the 15 nudes and bio things. And then like some ad promoting something that Elon Musk is trying to sell before he goes bankrupt. Like, I don't know. I don't spend a lot of time there. Although I do, I, you know, Twitter is still fun in spite of itself, which is a great way to describe it. I actually stumbled into that and I'm definitely keeping it. But the antidote to those sites is this penalty shout that obviously we're here to talk about, which happened in the Arsenal uh, match against Brighton, of course, anything involving Arsenal, Liverpool, or Manchester City down the stretch here is going to be hugely important. Everybody's going to be watching every one of those three clubs' matches because they're all within three points of the title, and it's a great title race. And neither of uh, any ne none of those three seem to be particularly willing to give up on that title race anytime soon. They do not seem to be in a bottling mood. We will see if that changes. But Arsenal is nil-nil with Brighton in the 32nd minute, and then this happens, basically. Uh, it's Gabriel Jesus, uh, my boy Jesus, freshly resurrected on Easter a few days ago, and he is attacking i oh god what's his name oh dude's getting like 19 pace on fm i just can't remember his name you know you, you know when you know a name if you've known it for a long time but it just refuses to come out of the back drawer of the filing cabinet like the lady in charge of the filing in the back of your brain's just taking a day off and you can't bring it's not ola Ina. why am i thinking of ola Ina? Tariq lamptey Thank you, Brain. It's Tariq Lamptey, okay? And Tariq Lamptey hasn't really ascended the way people thought he would, but he's still a solid uh, fullback, right? And this is the foul, right? This is the foul right here. Jesus is coming in, cuts in, gets absolutely obliterated by Tariq Lamptey. Now, people point out, right, and the reason this immediately became a controversy is a reason that I, I do not necessarily agree with, obviously, but there's nuance to this, right? Because... He does touch the ball. I'm going to give you an, another look at this. He touches right there. He touches the ball. It's kind of knocked up into the air a bit. And then he just, you know, removes the ankle of Gabriel Jesus. Now, when you touch the ball, there's this weird thing that happens, right? Uh, and we saw that. I mean, look, Jeremy Doku 
committed a foul that should have been a penalty, right? I made a video about that earlier. So don't show up in my mentions like, well, I already called this a penalty, man. What the hell are you? Like, I already thought it's a penalty, right? It is a penalty, okay? In just the same way that, that, that this is, by the way, in the rules of the game. But also, I can kind of understand if you don't call it. Maybe I feel like if he's able to knock the ball in another direction, then you probably don't call this the fact that he just kind of ramps it up. And that if he doesn't, like if he does, if you watch this again, right? If he doesn't take out Gabriel Jesus's leg there, Gabriel Jesus is going to be able to get to that ball, right? Because Tariq Lamptey's pulled the ripcord and he's headed the other direction, right? And Gabriel Jesus is stepping through. If Lamptey does not bring him down, Gabriel Jesus is on this ball. Right, like even though he touched it, Gabriel Jesus is going to be getting to this ball. So I do actually think that this is a bit more of a penalty than the Doku one, right? Although I still think that one should be a penalty. I think this one is a bit more of a penalty because this is just a violent amount of contact on the dude's ankle as he's in a dangerous position here. Uh, this is, to me, the, the kind of exact definition of what a penalty is. I mean, everybody defines it in their own way in their mind because technically a penalty is like just a foul, the same as it would be anywhere else in the field. But the way it's defined in my mind is you got to be in a threatening position. You've got to be providing a threat to the goal. And that's exactly what's happening here. I mean, he, he has put himself in a really dangerous position. The ball is still very much in play for Gabriel Jesus. And he gets absolutely cleaned out by Tariq Lamptey. But of course, because there was contact on the ball, oh, there was a ton of people equating it to Jeremy Doku's tackle. There's a ton of people saying because he got the ball, VAR just must have missed the fact that he got the ball. So I wanted to go look it in, right? Because a, a, a penalty right? A, a penalty is a foul, right? It, it's, it's just any foul in the box, almost any foul in the box. There's obviously a chance for like indirects, but, uh, and, and I went, I went to, this is the FA.com, which is England's FA. And it says trips or attempt to trip. I mean, this is a trip. I mean, like if you hit the ball, that doesn't, you know, that doesn't remove you from the requirement to not whack the other dude right now, like if you're getting the ball in the contact with the ball is what's absolutely like obliterating the other player. Like if you're making an excellent slide tackle and you're getting to that ball first and you clean the ball out of the way, and then you happen to clean up the player as well, kind of on the, on the follow through of that play, but you're like kicking through the ball, right? Then, then that is uh, like, I'm not somebody that's trying to remove proper Brexit tackling from the game, right? I love a great tackle. But I think you and I and your grandmother would probably acknowledge that this is not a particularly great tackle. This is loose. This is desperate. He happens to nick the ball and just, he, he trips the guy going into a dangerous situation. I, I do think that you could also class this as fairly reckless. I mean, this is a, you know, this is not a flop. This is endangering the dude's ankle pretty, uh, pretty significantly, right? And it's a tackle or a challenge. Uh, that, that is a trip or an attempt to trip the player, particularly in a dangerous situation here in the box. I mean, this is a penalty, right? right, right. And new, the, the nuance that I'm talking about here is the fact that if this was not called a penalty, right? I, I, I think that if this was not called a penalty, it would have been, it would have been a problem because I, I would have I would said this was a penalty, but I don't think they would be 100% wrong if they didn't call the penalty. But you know what? Somebody has to make a decision. It's either going to be a penalty or it's not. The problem is the decision is polarized and the reasons for the decision, there's a lot of, the, the, there's gray area in here. And we, we've, with the introduction of VAR, we have the opportunity to review the gray area that will eventually lead to a yes or no answer. But somebody has to make that call, right? And they decided to go with penalty here. I happen to agree with it. You might not. But I think there's all the reasons and the signs that this should be a penalty. And I obviously made a whole video talking about the Jeremy Doku uh, penalty as well. I completely understand how they didn't call that a penalty. You know what? Because these are two very, very different situations. These are two very different situations. All right, this, this is a completely different situation than Jeremy Doku committing that foul. Right, because one, Tariq Lamptey is at least aware of the fact that Gabriel Jesus is there. Right, Jeremy Doku like doesn't even the, the argument against Jeremy Doku is he's being reckless. Right over here, Tariq Lamptey knows where the guy is and he does foul him. Right, like there, there, there are 
different perspectives and there there is nuance but uh, that separates these two it, it's not like these are the same play and that there's some sort of golden rule that if you touch the ball it's never a penalty ignoring all of that nuance and just trying to compare each individual result and make them all match up all the time that strikes me as using like the transitive property basically right the transitive property being that if real madrid beat manchester city but then real madrid happens to go out and lose to mallorca that you'd be insisting that mallorca is better than manchester city because you can like pass that transitive property down it's it's looking at the jeremy doku situation and saying well since that wasn't a penalty because they said that he got the ball that means that this also isn't a penalty because he happened to just nick a touch on the ball like the, it is really really tricky to try and get that right I officiating a sport where anything can happen and everything will happen and no two situations are ever going to be the same now i realize that attempting to dive into that nuance is 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 unusual it makes me scared but i i think we've just got to be okay with and i realize you know if you're a liverpool fan or if you're a city fan that you're probably over here screaming about that if you're a city fan you probably shouldn't be because you got the beneficial side of this call when it comes to Jeremy Doku, right? But you're probably upset that Arsenal got this penalty. Well, they won the match by a few goals anyways, right? I, I realize how one goal can change a match and that probably opened things up for them, right? But in the fact that you could still make the argument that this penalty is what solely won them the game. But somebody's got to make a call. And it is it is a hard uphill argument to say that this is not a penalty and that if, if this didn't happen somewhere near midfield that you wouldn't have called this a foul at least a foul right because this is a tiny bit of contact underneath the ball where it's still in play for gabby jesus and then you just take out his legs but try if you can if you have the ability and the strength which sometimes let's be honest i don't either to resist those lightning quick narratives where you just get all worked up about something immediately without taking time to process what's going on try to at least look at this stuff objectively uh, you'll probably you, you'll find that your heart rate at least might be going down a little bit i don't know maybe i'm just trying to save everybody money on antacids this is good this is not the last time this sort of controversy is going to happen on a title race either but this is far far from the most egregious missing a penalty we're going to see this year people are just all worked up about nothing